When you see the words medical examiner, you might think the words coroner or undertaker. Well, a modern medical examiner is really more like a detective doctor. One bag or two. Using clues to figure out exactly what happened, sometimes helping to solve crimes bringing closure to a family. The medical examiner's department is an amazing place. There's no other place like it. We're part doctors, we're part detectives, and we're part grief counselors. It's a really unique and amazing skill set. In San Diego County, the medical examiner's office looks more like a hospital on the outside. Inside, a sophisticated lab, as high tech as they come. We have the technology, we have the ability to do the tests that are widely used in the field of forensic toxicology, accepted as state of the art. And this place is busy. Check out the numbers. The county medical examiner investigates 11,000 deaths every year. That's 900 a month. More than a quarter of these cases must be brought into the lab for investigation. Usually that means an autopsy and lab tests. And every case begins with a phone call to the medical examiner investigation team. We need to know if there's family. What do we know about the case? What can the officer tell us? What is the condition of the body? Where am I going? The investigator, every investigator, including me, rolls to the scene where we perform an initial scene assessment. We examine the body. We collect evidence. This evidence might include biological specimens and drugs, everything that will help the doctors determine the cause of death. We interview the witnesses, we interview family, we interview law enforcement. We put everything in a very concise and, and a professional report. A big role for the medical examiner is to identify the body and figure out how that person died. That's where the forensic pathologist comes in. We run anywhere from seven to 30 bodies a day. This office has eight board-certified forensic pathologists, all with very different backgrounds, bringing a variety of experience and viewpoints to the job. This group determines the cause and manner of death in the 3,000 cases investigated each year. The pathologists here are all from a variety of different backgrounds. We're all trained in, in different places, uh, in different parts of the country. There's people of different generations. So it provides a really good mix of perspectives. And even with that variety of perspectives, uh, we're able to work uh, very well together and, and mesh our ideas. One doctor is assigned to each case, but every morning they review all the cases together and they talk about their findings from the day before. The self-inflicted gunshot wound. And we also all get together on a regular basis uh, to talk about difficult cases. And we put our heads together and try to figure those out as a group. Sometimes the cause of death is difficult to tell. It's up to the toxicologist to look deeper into the case. Using new equipment and screening techniques, often they can figure out what happened. Gone are the days when toxicology samples had to be sent elsewhere for analysis. Now the technology to do it is in-house. Much less expensive, much more efficient. The ability to do all the work in-house offers not only a quick turnaround time, but a confidence in our work for the people that use us. It's all about collaboration. They work with community partners, other county departments, and are often called to testify, lending their expertise on everything from prescription drug abuse to domestic violence. We don't just deal with the deceased. The most important part of that process is the survivors and what they're going through. The medical examiner also provides care to the family of the deceased through its on-site bereavement center, providing emotional comfort, counseling, even financial assistance when needed. It can never get worse than somebody dying. You can replace a house, you can replace a car, you cannot replace a life. Whether we're providing free grief counseling, cremation assistance, or pastoral care of their faith, the Bereavement Center gives the families something that they ordinarily would not receive at any other medical examiner's office. Then there are those cases which stump even the experts, cases where maybe they figured out how the person died but couldn't figure out who that person was, a John Doe, a Jane Doe. 
There is a group that specializes in these cases. Every decedent needs a death certificate. That's the legal document, the legal key for the family to probate an estate or to collect insurance. And until they are officially identified and until their name is on that death certificate, the family can't proceed at all. They're in a holding pattern. 93% of the time, an identification is made. Investigators can make an ID in many ways, things like federal government records or even records of past surgeries. And if we have a lead towards that identity, we will bring the family in. We will let them know what our suspicions are. The family may have some sort of information, like dental records, or we may be able to get a DNA sample from the family to compare against our decedent. When you make notification of a family who's been missing someone for an extended period of time, I think there is a sense of relief. And now at least we can tell them, we have your loved one. This is what happened. Glenn Wagner has been the chief medical examiner since 2003. He's taken the office in a different direction. This can be, needed to be, should be, uh, something beyond the county morgue. That every death was important. Every person coming through here had a story to tell, not just of death, but of life. And that we had an obligation to interview or interrogate, depending on the circumstances, that individual to get that story because it was a story worth telling, hearing, and learning from. Those who have passed have an opportunity to speak once more to the living. And we, the living, have an obligation to listen and to learn. Through its efforts, the County Medical Examiner's Office helps us to listen and to learn, bringing closure to the family, bringing comfort to the community. I've been honored to have every case come through here as a privilege and I have done it justice and my staff and I stand tall and accountable.